Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. Don't forget to subscribe for more vape videos. Turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss an upload. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can also find me outside of YouTube by checking the description box below for links to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I love to chat with you guys over on Twitter and I like to post on Instagram story of like my daily life. So that's more of like my personal life and less vape related stuff, but I love those social media platforms. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you want to see what else I do, you can check that out. And I have a vape related Patreon where I do monthly vape related rewards. So if either of those interest you, those links will be below as well. And let's just get right into the video. Today I have e-liquid from the clean vape now yes the name is not just a name it really means the clean vape because these e-liquid flavors there are no artificial sweeteners there's no diacetyl there's no um acetylpropionyl i am not good at those names no like acetone dictone free so these are super clean awesome e-liquids Apparently, I haven't tried them, so I guess I can't say they're awesome until I try them. But they have several flavors, and they sent me a box, so they do um, sample packs as well. But you can get 15 ml bottles for $8.99. You can get 30 ml bottles in glass or plastic, but they're the same price for $16.19. 60 ml bottles for $26.99, and 100 ml bottles for $49.49. Those are the prices on the website as of today, as of filming this video. And like I said, they do have sample packs too, but I didn't really check in on those. These are 70% vegetable glycerin and 30% propylene glycol blends. They also offer Nick salts, which are 60% vegetable glycerin and 40% propylene glycol. And these are available in zero, 1.5, 3.5, 6, 9, and 12 milligrams nicotine. The ones I have here are nicotine free. So upon opening the box, we have some stuff here. So it's like Dictone content and it names, lists the flavors that are in this box. Non, de not detected, zero artificial flavors. Like literally everything I just went over. So we've got a couple stickers from them. And then this is e a flavor menu. Love that. Love the presentation of the box. We'll go ahead and remove this protective foam. And there are the 15 mil bottles. So they all have the same um, bottle art, just the color differs with the different flavor. Very nice, very clean, goes with the theme. I'm kind of in love with it. So let's see the flavors that I got and you can also follow them on Instagram. It's on the bottle. It says at the clean vape and their website is thecleanvape.com. So I have right here, Granberry which it also has a little bit of the flavor profile on the bottle as well. Graham cracker, strawberry milk cereal. Um, trying that, hello. We've got thorny strapple, which is cactus, strawberry, and apples. That's a maybe. I also have loops, which is breakfast cereal. Now this has been one of my favorite flavors in the past to vape ever, but I've tried so many of it that I think I'm just gonna skip it unless the other flavors don't interest me. We have purple cactus. I can already tell I'm not going to vape this one. A grape, cactus, and lychee, which actually sounds pretty cool, but like I, I don't like grapes, so we're not gonna go there because we don't have to. <laughs> And we have chocolate, peanut butter, and jelly. Chocolate, peanut butter, and strawberries. Okay. Oh, man. These all sound pretty good. I think... Okay. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but, like, I do want to tr try... No. No, I'm not going to. I've tried so many. No. I'm not going to try their fruit loop. <laughs> The Fruit Loops flavor. I am going to try the chocolate peanut butter and jelly one, and I am going to try the thorny strapple and the um, graham berry. This one, they look. I love the the color of the label arts change in like relation to the type of flavor, and I kind of live for that. So let's go ahead and I don't know which one I want to try first. The chocolate peanut butter and jelly one just because I have a feeling this one might be the one that I'm like mm, about just because chocolate is a really hard flavor to get and so is peanut butter. So like mixing the two together, it's brave. It's very brave. So let's smell these. Smells all right. I can definitely smell the peanut butter and jelly and a little bit of chocolate. I do want to preface this video also by saying I've had these e-liquids for so long <laughs> so 
so long, it's ridiculous. And so, you know, I, I, I feel like flavor changes the older an e-liquid gets. And I'm looking here, I, I'm not seeing a um, like expiration date or a made on like manufacture date. And I just wanted to check that going forward um, with uh, Zofi Vapes' recent video of her like mixing all of her sample box flavors together and seeing that she had some e-liquid that was like three or four years expired or not. Well, yeah, it, it was an expiration date, but you know, I mean like that's pretty gross, but also at the same time, like I have vaped e-liquid that's like two years old before because I had it for so long and I wanted to do a video for it and I just took a leap of faith and tried it anyway. I don't recommend anybody do that. You, we don't know like, <laughs> we don't know how safe that is. So I definitely don't recommend you um, trying e-liquid that's past an expiration date if it has one. But um, let's try this flavor. I've got brand new cotton right here, so please give me a minute. Actually, you won't have to give me a minute. I'll just go ahead and edit. I'll jump cut to when this is all nice and wicked. I do like that even though I've had this e-liquid for a really long time, it doesn't have like any, what is my hair doing? I'm sorry, you guys, I rushed. Um, it doesn't have any of those chemicals, so like I don't have to like worry. So it's actually a very, very light flavor, like super, super, super light. Um, I'm getting mostly peanut butter from that vape. Very, very, very light jelly strawberry flavor. The chocolate almost kind of disappears within the peanut butter, but it's like you have light flavors and then you have this one. But it doesn't taste bad and like, I know this is gonna sound silly, but it does taste like pretty clean. Like it's not, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's not gross. So it tastes, I don't know. It's reassuring knowing that they don't have those chemicals. Okay, that one was better. Definitely more peanut butter. Again, the chocolate really blends into the peanut butter for almost like a hazelnut type vibe going on. And a very light strawberry jelly. So altogether, that flavor is pretty light. I, I personally would have liked to have a stronger flavor there, but like I said, I've had these flavors for so long that it, I don't want to be like, they're not good because <laughs> you know, I've had them forever. All right, let's try Thorny Strapple. This is the cactus, strawberries, and apple flavor. And I forgot to take this plastic off. Smell it. Hmm, I don't like the smell. Maybe it's the cactus that, I, that I'm not digging. I'm barely getting any apple, definitely getting strawberry, but then like, I'm thinking that, that that's the cactus flavor and I'm like, what? And they do have several other flavors that I saw on their website. And so who knows if these ones may not be for me, but maybe some of the other ones on their website are. Interesting. Again, a very light flavor. Clouds, bitch. Um, I'd have to say that the cactus, this must be the cactus flavor that's the most prominent and it's kind of like, almost like a fruity, sweet aloe vera <laughs> taste. I don't know. Like what aloe vera smells like is what I'm tasting mixed with like a sweet, fruity vibe, which is probably the apple and strawberry. Now I'm getting like apple. If I didn't know there was apple in it, you might not pick it up. And the strawberry definitely is same, like it's very little. And if you didn't know it was there, you might not know it, but because I know that they're there, I'm able to pick up on those tiny flavor hints 
and an all around super light flavor too. But again, because these don't have like artificial sweeteners and all those chemicals, they aren't going to be as sweet and as prominent as some of the flavors I'm used to because Lord knows I have had a ton of e-liquid in my time and a ton of like e-liquid filled with sugar. So it makes sense that they're not overpoweringly sweet. I just guess I'm the type of person that likes that flavor. So, and I've been holding out hope for the Granberry because it just sounds amazing. I like, I like strawberry milk. I like strawberry cake better. I like strawberry really anything, so. Ooh. Definitely getting a graham crackery milk vibe. I'm gonna shake it up just a little bit since I've had them for a long time. Definitely, ooh, def yeah, shaking it up helped. Getting graham cracker 100% and like a creamy smell to it. Um, very, very light strawberry. So I'm, I'm hoping that the strawberry comes out more on the flavor, on the actual vape, than what it smells like. But we shall see. Yay. So this one is more prominent than the other two. Like, uh, it has a stronger flavor. I almost said harder flavor. It has a stronger flavor to it. Thank goodness. So it's like you have strawberry milk with like graham cracker crumbs mixed into it and they're kind of like soggy, but like not gross, but like that's what it tastes like. So it's like strawberry graham cracker milk. It's a nice light dessert sweet flavor, which I like. Miss these. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna sneeze. Not bad. Um, me, personally, I like sugary sweet, I like dessert, I like candy and fruity, I like those in your face flavors, so I would definitely wanna, says sneeze again. I would definitely want to taste that a little bit more and maybe it's because I've had them for a long time or maybe it's because they don't use all those gross chemicals. But I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are. If you've tried down in the comments below, let me know. Again, these are available at thecleanvape.com. Let me know what you guys think if you've tried them. I would love to hear from you. But that's it for the video, and I hope you enjoyed. So one more thing before you go. If vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.